friendly competition, a desire to win, enthusiasm that knows no bounds. That's the spirit, the spirit of young America. Every spring, in thousands of attics, garages, and basements throughout the country, thousands of young Americans set to work building their entries for the All-American Soapbox Derby. The place, Akron, Ohio. The time, the morning of August 16th. The excitement, the 1936 All-American and International Soapbox Derby Finals. Today, Akron is a city filled to overflowing, with a big welcome for the thousands who have come from every state in the Union to witness the big event. Thousands of spectators are milling about the champions' cars, getting a good close-up look. Every one of these cars represents many long, hard hours of thought and building. In every one can be seen the inventive and creative ingenuity of our American boys. Here are Graham McNamee and Tom Manning getting ready to broadcast over a great nationwide hookup. And millions of people all over the country are listening. Behind the roar of the crowd is the clickety-clack of the typewriters and telegraph keys. Stories of the race flashing over the wires. Pictures, too, both for the newspapers and newsreels. Harry Hartz and Wild Bill Cummings, famous race drivers, officiate at the finish line. Back at the starting line, Herbert and Harold are ready for the flag. One will be the new All-American Soapbox Derby champion. There they go. A new national champion, Herbert Minch of St. Louis, crosses the line, the winner. But Herbert can't rest on his laurels as yet. Now both boys go back to the top of the hill and get set for the international race. Racing against the champion from over the ocean, Norman Newman of South Africa. They're off! Herbert Minch is first, Harold Hansen second, Norman Newman of Pretoria, South Africa third. Mr. M.E. Coyle presents the first place trophy to the international champion while the other boys look on. <laughs> 